Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Very well. Ready for rock and roll. <laughs> Espera a los demás compañeros. Vamos a escribir. Good evening. Hello, oh, good evening. Welcome to the class, Benjamin. <laughs> good, great. What do you do in weekend? On the, on the weekend? Yeah, that is the question. Good. Uh, resting, you know, playing with the band. Only that, to be honest. What about you? <clears throat> Perdón. <laughs> um, Rachel. Thanks. Good evening. Good evening. And take a rest. Um, I am going. No, no, no. Yo fui. I went. I went to the supermarket and. Okay. That's all in Sunday. Okay. Wash my good. clothes. <laughs> okay. I don't have a much time. Entonces... Yeah, that's good. That's good. Perfect. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to the class. Vamos a esperar unos minutitos para que los demás se puedan unir. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, welcome to the class. Entonces me...
Ok, we're going to start. Vamos a ir iniciando entonces. Eh, como siempre, vamos a revisar primero la plataforma. Eh, solo sería la, la pregunta para los que ya hicieron todo. Además, ya les voy a decir quiénes están al día. Eh, sería solo la pregunta del video porque habíamos acordado que se iba a hacer todas las tareas de la unidad 3 uh, el fin de semana, ¿verdad? Para los que no la han hecho, pues ya les digo quién es. Primero vamos a pasar lista. That will be it. Ok. Alma Lisset Molina de Alas. Ana Yesenia Beltrán de Olivorio. Present. Okay. Perfect. Good. Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Benjamín Giovanni Hueso Cruz. Present. Good. Carlos Miguel Ángel Orellana Vargas. Douglas Enrique Hernández Ponce. Present. Good. Eric Mauricio Renderos Tomasino. Present. Good. Stephanie Joana Landa Verde López. Present. Good. Francisco Teacher, Javier. Me tomó asistencia. Eh, sí, sí, le puse Carlos. Eh, Francisco Gracias. Javier Mariona Mengíbar. Gabriel Antonio Martínez Portillo. Present. Good. Jairo Enrique Campos Méndez. Present teacher. Good. José Ovidio Flores Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Good. Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Herrera. Present teacher. Good. Rosa Acalia Conrado Quijada. Present. Good. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Present. Good. Sergio Chamorro Calero. Hey, Williams Mauricio Vindel Retana. Jacqueline Joana Hernández Urquilla. Good. Jul Mayaritza Oliva Córdoba. Present. Good. And Ana Raquel Alfaro. Present. Good. Perfect. Bueno, por acá tengo y pues me hacen falta algunos compañeros de terminar el, la semana de actividades, las tareas de la semana 3. Me falta, a ver, a ver, Carlos Miguel Orellana, estaría para ahora, please. Eh, me falta también Eric Mauricio Rendero, solo me falta una tarea de la semana. Ok, teacher, ahora, ahora. Stephanie también me falta. Gabriel, me falta la semana 3 y me falta el meet and test. Entonces, ese me urge que lo haga, Gabriel, el meet and test. ¿Cuál es ese, teacher? El examen de medio ciclo, ¿se acuerda? Que tiene cuatro sí, partes. Sí, 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 sí. Ya me acuerdo. Ah, Hoy ese. lo hago todo, teacher. Perfecto, perfecto. Me falta Luis, también me faltan eh, una, dos, tres dos tareas, de dos tareas creo, de la semana. Los demás estamos en paz. Ok, hay que tratar de ponernos el día ahora, que recuerden que mañana mando notas. Una hora es viernes, es lunes, pero viernes, porque es la clase número 15 para nosotros. Entonces vamos a hacer repaso, vamos a sacar el libro y vamos a practicar. That will be good. Ok, let's see. Aún no terminamos la unidad 2, pero nos falta muy poquito. Entonces vamos a hacer esta pequeña conversación. Eso está bien fácil. Dice, ongoing activities at the workplace. Vea la preposición at the workplace. At, no in, at the workplace. I will be able to use ordinal numbers and organize activities by date of event. Y el número uno dice, let's start. Do you mark your events in your calendar, Eric? Sorry. 
Do you mark your events in your calendar? Mm -hmm. okay. Acá en el número uno estamos. Mire, do you mark? Ah, sí, sí. Do you mark your events? Ajá, sí. In the, in the calendar. In, um, in, in 20, 22 November in, in my work. No, no, no entendí, Peter. No entendí, no entendí muy bien. Acá se la pregunta, mire. Do you mark your events in your calendar? Que marque, que marque eventos en el calendario, algo así. Que si marca sus eventos en el calendario. Never. No, never. Ok, good. Patricia, do you attend your events? Mm, no, teacher. No, never. Really. No, no, man. <laughs> ok. Vamos a hacer la conversación entonces. Everybody, please repeat. Adele, please check my agenda. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? When is, when the, is meeting the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. On Monday, Monday November, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? What about, what about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday the 26th. It's on Friday the 26th. Okay, creería yo que de vocabulario no hay, no hay acá nada. Solo veamos la fecha. En la primera dice Adele. Uh, on Monday, November 22nd. Ese es el formato más común. Monday, el día de la semana, coma, el mes y la fecha. Monday, November 22nd. Por ejemplo, si les pregunto, what date is today? ¿Qué fecha es hoy? Así se pregunta, what date is today? 22 November. No, eh, November 22. 20, November. 20. Monday, November 22nd. Ajá, sí, Monday, November 22nd. Mire que le pegamos cabalito, ¿verdad? Porque cabal esa fecha que está ahí. Sí. Uh, la otra dice on Friday the 26th. También se puede decir así, pero lo más común es la primera. Monday, coma, November 22nd. Eso es lo más común. Pero se puede cambiar el formato, aunque esto es lo más, lo que se usa más. Do you have any question with the conversation? Eh, eh, y 26, eh, what is your pronunciation? 26. 26. Sí, se acuerda que vimos los números ordinales la vez pasada, ¿verdad? Que lo que terminan en TH se tiene que decir la TH. 4th, 7th, 8th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th. Ok. Todo eso eh, reposemos, lo podemos reposar en la clase que hicimos la semana pasada. Okay, any other question? Bueno, vamos a practicar entonces. A ver, Sabrina en José Ovidio. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November uh, 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday at 26. Yeah. Good, perfect. Patricia and Rose. Okay. Adel. Please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 
20 second. 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 What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday the 26th. Good, perfect. Angela and Benjamin. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? Excuse me, perdí la, la, la pantalla que está en... Ah, aquí está, aquí está, aquí está. Okay. On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 26th. Good, perfect. Eric and Luis. Adele, please check my agenda. When is when is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, 26th. No. Okay, perfect. Yaritza and Jacqueline. Adel, please check my agenda. Where is the mini with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's a Friday, the 26th. Very good. Now, Williams and Stephanie. Okay. Adele, please check my agenda when is the meeting with the consultant. On Monday, November 2nd. 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, the 26th. Good, perfect. Now, Rachel and Gabriel. Adele, please check my agen agenda. Agenda, when is the meeting with the consultants? On Monday, November 20, 20, 22nd. 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? Is of Friday day 26th. 6th. 6th. Good, perfect. Sergio and Carlos Miguel. Adel, please check my agent. Uh, when is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, uh, November. 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 26th. 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 Okay. 26th. Good. Uh, a ver, Douglas and Jairo. Uh, Adele, please check my agenda. Where is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 26th. Good. Now, Anna, Yesenia, and... Uh... Mm -hmm. A ver. A ver, le va a ayudar. Ya te pasamos todo. Pero ya se le va a ayudar. Adel, please. Check my agenda with when is the meeting with the consultant. On Monday, November 22nd. What, what about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 26th. Good, perfect, very nice. When is Susan's meeting?
On Monday, November 22nd. Very good. On Monday, November 22nd. Do you think Susan has a busy agenda? I think I, not. I no. Maybe not. Yeah, depends, no. right? Okay, very good. Let's see. Um, Teacher, some, uh -huh. solamente two questions. Go ahead. No, cuando separamos, cuando separamos, las dos, cuando unimos dos oraciones, que es un imperativo, y después pasamos a una pregunta, siempre lo vamos a separar con punto y coma, como en la primera. No. Y ahí dice... No. no necesariamente, va a depender del tipo de, de situación, si es una cláusula. En este caso se separan con punto y coma porque son dos ideas totalmente diferentes, que no están relacionadas. Eh, pero no, no necesariamente. Se puede, pero va a depender. De... Y la otra, las, eh, la fecha siempre va a ir con números ordinales, ¿verdad? Yes, la fecha va siempre con números ordinales. Good. Lo escribimos y lo pronunciamos como números ordinales. That is correct, yeah. Ok, los meses del año en medio ya los habíamos visto, pero lo vamos a repetir solo para que chequemos. Everybody, January. 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 February. 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 March. 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 April. 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 May. 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 June. 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 July. July. August. August. September. 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 October. 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 November. 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 December. 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 Okay. Bueno, hay un calendario. Eso no lo vamos a hacer, pero vamos a practicar las fechas de esta manera. A ver, Benjamin, when is your birthday? My birthday is the 27th July. Ok, en este caso sería, my birthday is on, la preposición sería on July, primero el mes, y luego 27th. My birthday is uh, my birthday is no es sí, verdad sí, sí. Uh, on July 27th. Good, perfect. Patricia, when is your birthday? Uh, well, my birthday is October 18th. Okay, 18th. Good. 18th. Yaritza, when is your birthday? Yes. Era 18. Se le cortó, solo entendí que era en septiembre, septiembre, no sé si ustedes nos escuchan bien. September 30th or 31st, I don't know, say something like that. Or 13th. Look, it's like a frozen egg. Okay, Jacqueline, when is your birthday? September. Uh, or oh, 31st, I guess. Yes. Uh, the 30th. Okay, September the 30th. Good. Jacqueline, when is your birthday? My birthday is January 18th. Ah, it's very close, January 18th. Good, perfect. Rachel, when is your birthday? My, my eh, on November 8th. November 8th, very close. Acaba de ser. La de yeah, good. <laughs> Sabrina, when is your birthday? My birthday is on December 20. 20. Really? 
pronunciación. Así la pronunciación. Sí. Twentia. 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 Very good. Very, very close. That's good. <laughs> Jose Ovidio, when is your birthday? Um, is is um, July 10th. 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 Good. 10th. July 10th, guys. July 10th. Rose, when is your birthday? My birthday is July 16th. On July 16th. Good, perfect. Luis, when is your birthday? April 15th. April 15th. Yeah, it's a little bit far away. Sergio, when is your birthday? My birthday is August 1st. August 1st. That's good. That's interesting. Stephanie, when is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is on July 26th. 26th. Okay, very nice. Uh, Gabriel, when is your birthday? Uh, is on April uh, 16th. 16th, good, perfect. Uh, a ver, le pregunté a Jacqueline, a Michelle. Douglas, when is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is April 3. April, April the 3rd? Yes. Ah, okay, good, perfect. Jairo, when is your birthday? My birthday is September 25th. 25th, interesting, good. Ana Yesenia, when's your birthday? My birthday, October 3rd. October the 3rd, good. Angela, when is your birthday? My birthday is on September 5th. September 5th, very good, nice. Okay, ya practicamos. So, this is unit three. Aquí donde iniciamos ya el repaso de esta semana. Schedule events at the workplace. Do you remember what is schedule? No. Horario. Horario. Very good. Nice. So, uh, I will be able to describe future work events. Number one, it says, let's start. Who schedules the events at your workplace? What are some events that are taking place the next week? Bueno, que no debo de. Vamos a hacer la conversación. Ok, yo digo y ustedes repiten. Everybody, please. Hello, Henry. Hello, Henry. I have a question. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Who is representing the conference? Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is. Well, well Maria, is. Maria is. Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference this year too. So. But Julie is. Julie is attending the conference this year. I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? I see. I see. Julie is attending. Julie is delivering the presentations. Okay. The CEO. 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 Good. Guess what? Yes. Guess what? Yes, what? I am. I am. Okay. I am presenting yes. with Hector, the new accountant. I am I'm presenting. I'm I am presenting, presenting with Hector, the new accountant. The new accountant. Sounds great. Sounds great. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. I am informing the committee about it. Okay, let's check some words. Let's see, I have a question. Yearly, do you remember what is yearly? 
Anualmente. Anual, very good. Uh, hey, Peter, well, Maria is, but Julie is attending. Do you remember what is attending? Asistir. Asistir, very good. The conference is year two, so I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering? What is delivering? ¿Quién es el que está llevando? Llevando. O dirigiendo de la presentación. Por decir, oh. ¿Quién está llevando la presentación? Ajá. ¿Quién, ¿Quién la estará dando? Decimos nosotros en español. ¿Quién la estará presentando? X cosa. Pero en inglés la palabra que ocupamos es delivering. Delivering results or something like that. Uh, ¿Se acuerdan que era CEO? Me acuerdo del cargo, pero no de la significada de cada letra. Ok. Uh, that is going to be Chief Executive Officer, que es el menos jefazo, el de, el de hasta allá arriba, ¿verdad? Ese es el CEO. El jefe ejecutivo. Exacto. So, guess what? What is that? Guess what? Adivina qué. Adivina qué. Very good. I am, I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Ok, estamos nice. Vamos a practicar entonces la conversation que hoy día de práctica. That's good. Let's see. Uh, it's going to start Benjamin and Patricia. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is the representing the company? Representing company in the yearly conference. Hey Peter, well Maria is both July. July Julie is attending. Julie is attending the conference. This year too. So I see, but if Julie is attending. Who is delivering the, rep the presentation for the CEO next week? What's what? I, yes. am, I am representative. Yes, what? I am. I am representative what? with Hector, the new company. Sounds great. So I am informing the community about it. Committee, good. Ok, José Ovidio en Sergio. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the, 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 the company uh, in the yearly conference? Hey, hey Peter, where Maria is about you. July is attending the conference to the year two. So I see, but uh, if Julie Jul 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 is attending, who is delivering the, repres the representation the for the CEO next week? Is what? I am, I am presenting, presenting with Hector, the new accountant. So great, great. Great. Uh, so, so great. Uh, so I, I am informing the committee about it. Okay, good, perfect. And now Stephanie and Sabrina. Um, hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is, the rep who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Yuli is attending the conference this year, too. So, I think uh, Yuli is attending. Who is delivering <laughs> next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I'm informing the committee about it. Very good. Perfect. Now, Eric and Rose. Hello, Henry. I have a question. 
Quotes representing the company in the yearly conference. Hey Peter, well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering, who is a, a delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presented with Hector, the new accountant. Sound great. So um, uh, I'm informing, informing the committee about it. Good, perfect. Now it's going to be uh, Williams and Jaritza. Oh. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing, representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Yes, 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 what? I am, I am representing with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Good, perfect. Now, Gabriel and uh, Rachel. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Where is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Will Ma Mari is but Julie is attending the conference this year too soon. I see. Who is Julie is attend attending? Where is delivery the presentation for the CEO next Guess what I am, uh, am presenting with uh, Hector, the new account. So, Grant, so I am informing the community about it. Good, perfect. Now, Jacqueline and Carlos Miguel. Hello, oh, Harry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference in year two. So. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is the delivery? Who is the representation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. So it's great. So I am informing the committee about it. Good, perfect. Now Douglas and Jairo. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hello, Jairo. Jairo. Not here. Bueno, le voy a ayudar entonces a Ana Yesenia. Hi, Peter. Well, Maria is good. Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see. But, but as, if Julie is attending, what is delivering? the representation for the CEO next week. Guess what? I am I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. 
sound great. So I am informing the <coughs> committee. No, committee. Committee. Mm -hmm. committee. How about this? Good. Nice. Uh, Angela, ahora. Y creo que los demás todos ya leyeron, ¿verdad? No falta nadie. Falta, teacher. ¿Quién, quién falta? Now, Henry, have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, it's Maria. Perdón. Well, Maria is, but Jolie is attending the conference this year too. So. I see, but is Julie is attending. Who is delivering the representative? representation for the CEO next week. Guess what? I am I am presenting with uh, with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the, the community about it. Okay, very good. Perfect. So now we have an exercise below. Figure it out. Mm, this is interesting. Uh saben ustedes que es figure it out. In the number three. No. Okay, esto es bastante común. Figure it out viene siendo así como que imagínese. Trate de, de encontrar la respuesta. Figure it out. Cuando yo digo I figure it out y le pongo el I, eh, es como que yo lo pude resolver. Yo pude encontrar la respuesta. Something like that. So it says figure it out. Complete the following sentences use the conversation about to help you. Okay. He is present. Uh, this is very easy. ¿Qué le falta ahí en el número uno? Number one. Angie. ING. Very good. He is presenting with the new employee. Very good. And in the number two, what is missing? Um, 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 very good. I'm informing the committee about that. Very good, perfect. Mm, we have a video. Vamos a ver si lo podemos ver. Let's see this one. Ok, vamos a ver si recuerdo cómo lo compartía. I guess it's going to be this. Eh, se ve bien, se ve bien. Clear. Yes. Yes. Ok. Yes. Entonces creo que ahora sí se va a ver bien. Ya encontramos aquí la solución. Okay, here we go. So, what are your plans for Friday? Hey, Hivda. I will be shopping on Friday to buy my sister a present. How about you? I will be working on my science report and I will be working on my English essay. Will you be watching the new Mission Impossible movie out on Saturday? No, I will not be watching the movie since I have so much work to do. Sam and I will be watching the movie on Saturday. Do you want to join us? Sounds like fun! Yeah, I would love to go with you guys. What time do you think you guys will be leaving to go to the movies? Sam and I will be leaving around 12.30 since we live close to the movie theater. What time will you be leaving? I think I will be leaving my house at 12 to be on time for the movies. Will you be attending the party that Bill will be hosting on Saturday? What do you think people will be doing at the party? I think everybody will be celebrating that it's the weekend finally. Oh, I just remembered! I can't come with you and Sam to watch the movie on Saturday. Why not? 
I have to pick my aunt up from the airport. I will be waiting for her when her plane arrives at the airport, and then I will be taking her to her hotel where she will be staying. Oh, it's okay. Maybe we can reschedule for another time when we won't be preoccupied. Yeah, sounds good. Well, I'm going to go walk my dog. I will be eating dinner at 7 p.m., so call me before if you need anything. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay. So, wait a minute. Okay, ¿qué entendimos del video? Anybody? Quiero saber qué es reschedule. Reschedule es como hacer una. Imagínense que yo le digo, let's, let's go to, to a party on Saturday at 7. Y usted me dice, no, I, I can't, I can't, no puedo. Entonces, un reschedule es como reagendar. Ok, ¿any other question? Que de hecho solamente como que se estaban poniendo de acuerdo en, en si iban a ir a la fiesta o no. Hoy Ajá. tenían varios planes así como que eh, o iban a ir al cine o, o, o la fiesta era como que más tarde, pero siempre en el transcurso del mismo día, creo. Very good. Sí, es, se, se refería exactamente a eso, a planes. Eran planes que tenían para X, a, X cosa. Eh, se podían ver lo... una película o... Ajá, una película. Very una good. Misión imposible. Nice. Very good. Mission impossible. Very good. Alguien Está más buena, se... por cierto. I really haven't seen that. <risa> ya la vamos a buscar. Nice. Eh, ¿Algún otro comentario del video? Ok, tengo otro por acá. Vamos a ver cómo nos va con este. Let's see. Solo lo único que me pareció raro, no sé por qué está en el libro en este momento, pero eh, se ocupa mucho Will y Will no lo estamos viendo ahorita. Pero eso se entendía que era una cuestión de, de futuro. Ok, we're going to watch this other video and see how it goes. I'll be cooking, she'll be too. We'll be making lunch for you. Side by side. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Bob. This is Dad. Oh, hi, Dad. How are you? Pretty good. How's Mom? She's fine. So what's new with you? Nothing much. Everybody's okay here. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Will you be home this evening? Yes, I will. I'll be reading. Oh, and how about Louise? Will she be home this evening? Yes, she will. She'll be writing some letters. What will Danny be doing? He'll be studying for a big math test. And how about Julie and Laura? They'll be playing with their toys and watching TV. Oh, that's nice. It sounds like you're all going to be very busy. Say, Dad, what will you and Mom be doing this evening? Oh, nothing much. I guess we'll be staying home. You'll be staying home? Yes, I suppose so. Well, I have a great idea. What's that, Bob? Can you and Mom come over for dinner this evening? We can have a nice dinner, and then you can play with the kids for a while. That sounds nice, Bob. Thank you. How 6.30? 6.30? I'm sure that'll be fine. We'll see you then. Bye, Dad. Bye. Is there someone you should call? A message from your telephone company. Hi, Gloria. This is Arthur. Can I come over and visit this evening? No, Arthur. I'm afraid I won't be home this evening. I'll be shopping at the supermarket. Oh. Can I come over and visit tomorrow evening? No, Arthur. I'm afraid I won't be home tomorrow evening. I'll be working late at the office. I see. Can I come over and visit this weekend? No, Arthur. 
I'll be visiting my sister in New York. Oh, well, can I come over and visit next Wednesday? No, Arthur. I'll be visiting my uncle in the hospital. How about sometime next spring? No, Arthur. I'll be getting married next spring. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye, Arthur. Bye. I'm having some problems with the homework for tomorrow. I'll be glad to help. When can you come over? I can come over at 5 o'clock. Is that okay? I'm afraid I won't be home at 5 o'clock. I'll be playing baseball. How about 6 o'clock? No, I won't be able to come over at 6 o'clock. I'll be having dinner. How about 7 o'clock? Fine. I'll see you then. When do you think we'll be hearing from Anne? I'm sure she'll be calling as soon as she... Oh, the last part is not that good. The last part is not that good. Okay. Um, a ver, ¿qué entendimos de las conversaciones? Aparte de la bateada que le dieron al brother, pues... <laughs> en la friendzone. Y imagínense, el pobre Arthur, ¿verdad? Y estaba bien interesado, pero no, no le... No, no, no. Y se va a casar. She never, she never will be see them. Yeah, not available anymore. See, see, see. He, 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 he. See ya. Yeah. Ok. Eh, ¿Alguna frase, alguna pregunta, algo, algún otro comentario en los videos? Ok. Okay. Eh, que el del padre e hijo estaba preguntándole que creo que cómo estaba la, 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 la esposa. Uh -huh. No, cómo estaba la mamá. Le pregunta el hijo a la mamá, al, al papá. Y creo que el papá le pregunta a los hijos de que cómo están los hijos. Uh -huh. creo. Sí, es, los planes, ¿verdad? Pero se entendía ahí que como que el papá quería ir a comer y dijo, bueno, al final vaya por venir a comer. So that was good. Sí, me that equivoco, was... pero el hijo se llamaba Abraham. Abraham. Uh, I don't remember that one. Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is the meaning of nothing much? No, no mucho. Algo así como no mucho. Como le pregunta, what are you doing next Saturday? Nothing much. Mm, okay. Había otra frase que también me gustó que era come over. Can you come over? Come over okay. es venir. Te puedes venir. Sí, puedo llegar y a veces era como Ok, eh, so, schedule events at the workplace. We are going to repeat everybody. How to use present continuous for future events. How to use present continuous for future events. We use present continuous to talk about we use present about arrangements for events. At a time later than now. At a time later than now. Structure. 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 Subject plus verb B. Subject plus, plus main verb in gerund. Plus complement. Plus complement. I am meeting the interns tomorrow. I am meeting the interns tomorrow. 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 This action will take place in the future, tomorrow. This action, this action will take place in the future, tomorrow. Take place in the future, tomorrow. What time is Maria interviewing the people? What time is Maria interviewing the people? She's interviewing them at 5 p.m. She interviewing them. 
I am writing the report next week. Nice, and I am sending it as soon as you finish. Good. Analicemos todo lo que dijimos. Dice, we use present continuous to talk about arrangements. Do you know what is arrangements? Citas. Oh. Mm, parecido, sí. Arreglos. Arreglos para eventos en un tiempo después de la hora, o sea, en el futuro. Por eso usamos el presente continuo a veces con el futuro. Y ahí está la estructura. El subject, que es el sujeto, plus el verbo to be, plus el uh, verbo principal que va en ING, más el complemento. Por ejemplo, I am meeting this, the interns tomorrow. Con el tomorrow, implícito ahí ya sabemos que es mañana, que es futuro. No es algo que estoy haciendo at the moment. De hecho, ahí dice, this action will take place in the future. Esta acción tomará lugar en el futuro, mañana. Pero puedo utilizar el presente continuo. Uh, what time is Maria interviewing the people? Interview. What is interview? Entrevistas. Very good. ¿A qué hora María va a entrevistar a la gente? Voy a hacer que nosotros decimos va o estará entrevistando, pero... No podemos traducir eso al español, no existe. She's interviewing them at 5 p.m. Futuro también. Okay. I am writing the report next week. También futuro. Next week. Nice. And I'm sending it as soon as you finish. ¿Qué es, ¿Qué es as soon as you finish? ¿Saben ustedes? Tan pronto como termine. Very good. Entonces, yo lo voy a enviar tan pronto como termine. Mines, yo estoy esperando. Ok, entonces, todo esto es futuro. Simplemente, la mayoría de las veces que usamos el presente continuo, recordemos, para futuro, ¿verdad? recordemos que usamos una time expression que nos dice que eso va a ser en el futuro. Tomorrow, next week, uh, tonight. Algo nos dice que eso va a ser en el futuro. Ok, questions? A ver, Benjamin. Si no usamos la time expression, asumimos, o sea, si solo vemos un, una oración sin la time expression, pensamos que es una acción en presente, ¿verdad? Dependiendo del contexto, la mayoría de las veces sí. va a ser en presente. Ajá. Sí, porque ah. si yo digo, I'm eating pizza, and I'm eating pizza tomorrow, ya cambia. Good. Eh, Benjamin tenía una pregunta. Eh, sí, eh, en donde dice she interviewed them at 5 p.m. Eh, eh, asimilamos que en el momento en el que estamos diciendo esta entrevista es antes de esa hora. Ajá. Por lo cual eh, asumimos por, por lógica que ese, lo que decía Sabrina, que es el de tiempo en futuro. Exacto. That is ah, wow, wow. Sí, porque si no la tengo expression, podemos usar una tengo expression para el momento, pero sería diferente, como now, right now, at the moment. Entonces ya sabemos que es así, pero si yo digo a las dos, es el uno que ahorita no son las dos. ¿verdad? Teacher, ¿podría repetir? Can you repeat, please, the pronunciation? Interviewing. 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 Para, para, cuando vean palabras así. Traten de pensarlas como que son palabras compuestas. Inter, ¿verdad? View. Esta es view, que es ver. Y se lo agregamos en G. Interviewing. Así van a saber más o menos cómo es la pronunciación, aunque ustedes no conozcan la palabra. Ok, any other question? Eh, teacher, eh, hace un momento... Usted decía que, que yearly es anualmente. ¿o? Uh -huh. Pero yo estaba leyendo por, de casualidad ahora algo en inglés que, que decía, estaba esa palabra y decía an, anual. Sí, anualmente. También se puede poner anual. Es de las dos maneras. De las dos maneras, solo que anual es un poquito más formal. Ok. Ah, ok, ok. Thank Good. you. 
Ok, we're going to do exercise number four. Allí lo pueden hacer en el cuaderno, en el libro. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Unscramble the following words to create sentences. Y ahí está eh, separado lo que vamos a hacer, simplemente de ordenar. Les voy a dar unos minutos para que lo hagan, para que practiquemos la escritura. Y luego veamos cómo queda. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Sí, eh, unscramble the following words. O sea, que ordenar. Así como está el número uno. Mire, el número uno ya está hecho. Está desordenado y abajo ya está ordenado. So, por ejemplo, dice el número uno. Is José tomorrow. Y ya queda ordenado. José is receiving the new workers tomorrow. Ok. Good. Los espero unos minutillos. Ok, good. Revisemos entonces. Number two, ¿cómo quedaría? The next week, Mark is sending. Por la segunda, voy, teacher. Ok. Bueno, yes, me tiempo. too. I am I'm not with silver. Sorry. Ok. <laughs> That's a good one. Vamos a esperar un poquito más, entonces. No problem.
Hello. Y la same expression pueden ir al principio de una oración. Que si siempre van al final, casi siempre. Pero pueden ir, la verdad es que sí pueden. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, do you finish? Let's check. Number two, who is going to be? When you put the next week, Mark send, is sending the letter. Okay, good. Yes, that's good. The next week, Mark is sending the letters. Nice, perfect. Number three. Is working on the reports. Okay. Jane is working on the reports tonight. Yeah, that is fine. Al final tonight. iría tonight. Puede ir también después o en medio. Lo más común es al final, ah, pero sí puede, se puede. Porque yo le puse James in working tonight on the reports. Yeah, that is possible. It's possible. Yeah. Okay. Okay, number four. Walter is signing today. Walter, Walter is signing the pronunciation signing. Walter is signing the checks today. Okay, signing. Do you know what is signing? Firmando. Firmando. O sea que Walter está firmando los cheques del aguinaldo hoy. Good. Number five. What's going to be? Marina. Is organizing the pre the presentation is uh, in the afternoon. Okay, Marina is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Good, that will be perfect. And number six. Guillermo is Guillermo going to is the bank tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. Guillermo está en español, pero eso es en inglés, es William. Ok. Eh, we are not going to do this part because it's not very good. Ok, viene otra conversación, pero antes de eso vamos a hacer, vamos a pasar la lista. Ya se nos pasó un poquito. No do need to do it. Good. Alma Lizeth Molina de Alas. Ana Yesenia Beltrán de Oliborio. Present. Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Benjamín Giovanni Hueso Cruz. Oh. Present, present, present. <laughs> okay. Carlos Miguel Ángel Orellana Vargas. Present teacher. Good. 
Douglas Enrique Hernández Ponce. Present. Good. Eric Mauricio Renderos Tomasino. Present. Good. Stephanie Joana Landa Verde López. Present. Good. Francisco Javier Mariona Mengíbar. Gabriel Antonio Martínez Portillo. Present. Good. Jairo Enrique Campos Méndez. Present teacher. Good. José Ovidio Flores Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Good. Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Herrera. Present teacher. Good. Rosa Acalia Conrado Tijada. Present. Good. Sabrina Liceaz García Orellana. Present. Good. Sergio Chamorro Calero. Present teacher. Good. Williams Mauricio Vindel Retana. Present teacher. Good. Jacqueline Joana Hernández Urquilla. Here teacher. Good. Zulma Yaritza Oliva Córdoba. Present. Good. And Ana Raquel Alfaro. Present. Very good. Ahora sí. Vamos de regreso al libro. Ah, ya vino Alma. Hello, Alma. <ríe> que ahorita le ponemos. Ok, ok. So, we are going to continue with the book. And uh, the review, el repaso, el wrap up. Ok. So, uh, scheduled event at the workplace. I will be able to describe ongoing activities accurately and regular activities at the workplace. Accurately, do you know what is accurately? Mm. No. Esa sí era actualmente, ¿verdad? Esa tampoco, no. No. La, la otra era currently. Ah, currently. Currently, exactamente. Accurately es como... Se me ha escapado la palabra en español. Preciso. ¿no? Preciso, ajá, con precisión. Very good. That's the word. Thank you. So, describe ongoing activities. Vea, ongoing, esa palabra es también como una preposición. Um, y luego dice, number one, let's start. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace, Jose Ovidio? Uh, repeat, please, please, me, teacher. Of course. Uh, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Uh, <clears throat> uh, no, no, eh, es, es, I, oh, um, uh, now, eh, uh, in, in, in my house, eh, uh, I, I work teacher. Okay, you work uh, from no, home. No, 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 I know fear person. Okay, very good, nice. Uh, let's see. Sabrina, what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? I start off the machines, the lights. And I see the, I watch the agenda uh, for know what I have to prepare for the first passing. Okay, very good, that's nice. What time do you start working? Excuse me? What time do you start your work? Uh, 7 p.m. 7 okay. a.m. 7, a. <laughs> <laughs> 7 p.m. Well, it's possible, no. right? <laughs> okay, vamos a hacer la conversation entonces, everybody. Let's repeat. Good afternoon, Raul. 
What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Good afternoon, Ryan. Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Well, I am planning a video conference. Well, a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? What is our team doing right now? Right now. Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. Yes, it is. They yes. are okay. getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? What's the first thing you do? The first thing you do. I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. It depends, it depends on my traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. My first, my first activity, activity is to pick up, pick up the, the letters. letters. Okay. Very good. Uh, no hay mucho vocabulario nuevo. Por ejemplo, creo día que tal vez... They are getting ready. What is getting ready? Preparando. Very good. Se están preparando. Good. Let's see. Thing. Usually check my email. Creo que lo demás ya lo conocemos. Pick up. Ah, pick up. Es recoger. Recoger. Ajá. Así se le dice también a los carros, ¿verdad? Un carro pick up se llama pick up porque recoge cosas. Mm. Uh, ya no van a decir pick up. It's pick up. Okay. Okay. Any other question before we do the uh, conversation? No questions. Okay, good. Vamos a iniciar entonces. Let's see. Um, Sabrina and Jose Ovidio. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am pl planning a video conference. Video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually are, are, arrive uh, at 17. Six. Uh, six. Six. Uh, three, three, thirty. Th thirty. Uh, I, I'm, AM. In, I am in, in the first thing I do to check my email and you and you. Well, I arrive at seven or seven thirty. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Good, perfect. Now Jaritza and Rose. Good afternoon, Ron. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. 
Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting re ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And, and the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends of traffic. My first activity is to pick up the later. Very good, perfect. Now, Patricia and Eric. Good afternoon, Raul. What, what are you, what, como, como se dice, me olvida ahí. What are you doing right now? Después de Raul. Después de Raúl, what are you? What doing? are you doing right now? What are what are I? Ya me trabé la letra. <laughs> you doing right now? Okay. Good afternoon, right? Will I am playing a video conference? Oh, the conference with the new team in the San Salvador. What is or team doing right now? Yes, uh, it is. Uh, they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing do you? I do usually, you? I usually arrive at. Uh, 7 3 a.m. A, 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 6 30. 6 3 6 3 a.m. And the first, first thing I do is to check Miami. And you? Well, uh, I arrive at 7 or 7 30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter. Very good. Nice. Now it's going to be uh, Sergio and Luis. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? What are you doing? Hello, Sergio. Hey, good afternoon, Ryan. Where I am training a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time, what time do you usually get to your workplace? Uh, what's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6 30 a.m. And the first thing I do is the chat me, me, my email and you. Well, I arrive at 7 or 7 and 30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Very good, perfect. Benjamin and Alma. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Brian. Will I am? Oh, the conference with the new team in Salvador. Ah, le falta Benjamin. In San Salvador, what is your... Es que se escucha bastante interferencia. Okay. What is your... Right now? Uh, yes, it is. They are getting ready 
for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to work place? What what the first thing do you you do, perdón? I usually arrive at 6 30 at M and the first thing I do is check emails and you and you well I arrive at seven or seven thirty and depends of traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Good, perfect. Now it's gonna be Williams and uh, Stephanie. Good afternoon, Troll. What are you doing right now? Hello, Stephanie. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive at seven o'clock or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Good, nice. Now, Jacqueline and Rachel. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Roy, uh, Ryan. We, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new teams in San Salvador. What is your team do, doing right now? Yes, it is. Uh, they are um, head, getting hitting for the conference in the meeting room. I see, what time do you usually get out to the workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive, arrive. Uh, arrive at 6, 30, 30. Uh, a.m. And the first thing I do is to check you my email and you. Well, I arrive to seven or seven thirty. It depends or on traffic. My first activity is a pick up the letters. Good, nice. Now uh, Douglas and Gabriel. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? No sé si me escucha bien, teacher. Ahorita le escuchamos. Okay. Good afternoon, Raya. We will I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting right for the conference in the more in the main room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first time you do? Uh, usually arrive in six. And 13 30 and uh, am and their things this and is the chip my uh, email and email you, mm -hmm. email and you well I have at seven 
Good, perfect. Now, Carlos Miguel and Jairo. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What is the first thing to do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email, and you? Well, I arrive at right. 7 or 7.30, independent of traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter. Good, nice. Now, Ana Yesenia and Angela. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Of the conference why, with the new team in San, in San Salvador, what is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the new room. I see what. What time do you usually get to your work, please? <clears throat> What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? <clears throat> will arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is the pickup the little. Okay, very good, that was nice. Okay, let's check. Um, who gets earlier at the workplace? Uh, no, we're not gonna do that because it's a discussion. And we're not gonna do this. Okay, so schedule events at the workplace. How to use simple present versus present continuous. Vamos a repetir esta parte. Everybody please. We use simple present for general information. We use simple present for general information. Routine activities. Routine activities. Activities. We use present continuous for ongoing actions. We use present for ongoing actions. At the time of speaking. At the time, At the time, of, time of, of speaking. I check my email every morning. I check, I check my, email my email every morning. Every morning. Email every morning. Every morning. I am planning a video conference. I am planning, I'm planning a video, video, video conference. He writes reports about meeting. He writes he reports about, 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 about meeting. They are getting the documents ready. They are getting the documents ready. She audits inventories. She audits inventories. She is editing the information. She is editing the information. They arrange meetings. They arrange meetings. The secretary is making a phone call. The secretary is making a phone call. Good. Entonces, esto es repaso también, ¿verdad? Simple present tense for general information, routine activities. 
al hábito, rutinas, ese es el presente simple y el continuo en general es para acciones pasando en el momento. Okay. Y tenemos algunos ejemplos que creo yo que queda claro. Tal vez el número tres, eh, donde dice She Audits Inventories. Eh, ahí que entienden. Eh, eh, ella ella audita los inventarios. Ella audita inventarios. Very good. Creería que lo demás está claro, pero do you have any question? Yeah. They, they arrange, arrange meetings, arregla reuniones. Exactly, yeah. ellos arreglan reuniones. Good. Y si es editing the information. Sería, es, ella está editando la información. Ok. okay. Okay. Y, uh -huh. y I, I check es no, I, I am, no, no, no is uh, I am. Lo que pasa es de que si le pone I am, tiene que ponerle checking con ING. Porque check ah, es, okay. oh, uh, es, ah, lo que pasa es que en español digo yo estoy chequeando, pero eso es español. En inglés check es verbo. Entonces ahí solo es I check my email. En el número 2, they are wearing the documents ready. Sería lo mismo que dijera, they are getting ready the documents. They are getting ready, sí. sí se puede hacer de otra manera. Uh -huh. Questions? Bueno, hagamos the exercise number 4. Your turn. Complete the sentence in present continuous. Eso está fácil. Porque solo es de ir poniendo el verbo que está en el paréntesis en presente continuo. So, for example, number one is as Thomas is printing the contract. Okay. Okay, number two, who is going to be? We are in meeting with... Okay, Cheryl is, remember is, the is. Is meeting. Uh, is meeting with the boss right now. Get at the boss. El jefe. El jefe. El jefe. Está el jefe. Está reunida con el jefe. Good. Number three, who's going to be? Este momento. Is, is taking. Is, is taking. Of everything. Of everything. Is take, takes care. Is taking. Is taking care of everything. Care. Recordemos las reglas, ¿verdad? Que I and take, le quito la E y le agrego I and E. Esos no se nos pueden olvidar. Ok, number four, ¿cuál es going to be? I, I, am, I am... I am... I am paying. Ok, I am paying attention to the instructions. Number five, ¿cuál es going to be? Is preparing the briefings. She's preparing the briefing. Briefing. Good. Number six. Preparing. They send they the sending. They are sending. They are, they are, they are sending, sending product to the uh, warehouse. Very good. Warehouse. They are sending the product to the warehouse. Very good. Very easy. A ver, alguna otra. Briefing sería como un documento pequeño, como un, algo que se va a decir. Eh, y warehouse. Do you remember what is warehouse? Ok. Ese sería como bodega. Warehouse es bodega. Ok. Let's see what else do we have here. Ok. And this one says, I will be able to describe scheduled events at the workplace. Um, let's see. No, we're not going to ask that. Okay, vamos a hacer la conversación. Mucha práctica ahora. That's good. Everybody, please repeat. Hello, Mary. Hello, Mary. Hello, Hello Mary. 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 What are some activities you are doing this week? What are, what some, are some activities, some activities you, are you are doing this week? Doing this week? Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am well, doing this week. Well, there are many things 
they are for example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday. And, and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? And sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. That's okay. 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 I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. Okay, no hay mucha sacada tampoco. Can I have many things during this week? Colleagues. Uh, payroll. Payroll, very good. Payrolls, ese es como planilla. Entonces, donde dice, for example, I am signing some payrolls, está firmando las planillas. Y luego, colleagues, como dice. Colleagues es colegas. Oh, ok. Luego dice, who is analyzing the advances? Lo que se entiende que está analizando los avances de la compañía. Do you have any other question? No question. Let's practice then. Vamos a practicar. Va a iniciar José Ovidio en Sergio. Hello, Mary. What are some activities? And you are doing the weeks. I wrote, well, there are, are many things I am doing this week. Uh, for example, I am singing some signing par sign parole on Tuesday and sending emails on the West Wednesday. And you Wednesday and you that's okay. I am talking to colleagues uh, in, in checking report. And who is analysis analyzing the av advances Advanced. in the company? Peters is. Good, good. Now it's going to start Jacqueline. Okay, we're going to start. Bueno, va a iniciar Patricia y le va a ayudar Rose. Okay. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you, you are going to do? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am, am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and, and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? Tax, tax. Oh, okay. I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advance in the company? Peter is. Very good. Nice. Now it's going to start Eric y le va a ayudar Jacqueline. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you you are doing this week? Eh, no la escuchamos, Jacqueline. Sorry. Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am singing some playrolls and twisting. And uh, sending email and Wednesday and you. That's okay. I am tell, talking to colleagues and checking colleagues. report. Colleagues and checking report. And who is analyzing the advance in the company? Uh, Peter is good. Perfect. Now is gonna start. Let's see. Uh, Zulma and is going to help Sabrina. Hello, Mary. 
What are some activity you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I am talking to colleagues and, and taking reports. That's okay. I am talking to colleagues and eso lo dijo usted, ¿verdad? Yeah. <laughs> and who is analyzing the advance in the company? Peter is. Good, very good. Now it's gonna start Luis and it's gonna help Alma. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi Rose, well there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am day sending signing, uh, signing okay, some play roll on Tuesday and sending emails on when Wednesday and you then and that's okay. I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. I hope the analysis. Analyzing. Analyzing the advance in the company. Uh, Peter is good. Now it's gonna start Williams and it's gonna help Stephanie. Um hello Mary. What are you how, what are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I'm doing this week. For example, I'm signing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I'm talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. Good, good. That's going to be Benjamin and Rachel. Hello, Mary. What are some time activities are you doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I'm doing this week. For example, I am singing from signing some final on Tuesday people on Tuesday and sending email on Wednesday and you that's okay I am talking to colleagues and checking reports and who is analyze, analyzing 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 the advance is the company is good. Now it's going to start Gabriel and it's going to help Douglas. Hello, Marie. What are same activity you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am going to speak. For example, I am singing from Bayrock on Thursday and sending emails. Um, where, where's the day? Wednesday. And you? Mm -hmm. Wednesday. And you? Thanks. Okay. okay. I am taking the collage and checking report. And who is uh, analyzing? Analyzing. The advance, analyzing the events in the company. Bueno, solo le faltaba Peter Is, but that's good, perfect. Ah, okay. ah pues a mí se me fue el inter... <risa> No, okay. es que no, no, no sabía si a mí era bueno. Peter Is, bye. Ok, good. <risa> ok, now it's going to start Carlos Miguel, it's going to help Angela. Hello, Carlos. 
Creo que no. Bueno, va a iniciar entonces Jairo y le va a ayudar. A... Ah, bueno, ya regresó. ¿Cómo? Sí, ahí está. Empieza usted, Carlos. Hello, Mari. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am singing some Signing. Finals. Signing. Some some payrolls on Tuesday and sending email on Wednesday. And you? Then, okay, um, talking to colleagues and taking a report. And who is analyzing the advices in the company? Analyzing. Better is. Okay, good, perfect. Now uh, it's gonna start Jairo and it's going to help Anna Yesenia. Okay. Hello, Marie. What are you? What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I don't this week. For example, I am signing some fighters and Thursday and sending email or Wednesday and you. That's okay. I am talking to a colleague and uh, checking report. And who is analyzing the advance in the company? Peter E. Okay, very good. Now, uh, let's check the pronunciation of some words. Hay algunas palabras que ya hace varios días que estoy escuchando que no la estamos diciendo correctamente. Por ejemplo, doing. Doing. Esa, eh, el solo el verbo es do. Recordémonos que como se lo agregamos ING sería doing, eh, pero no es doing. Doing es otra cosa. Doing. Esa, con esa palabra hay que tener cuidado. Las otras con las que hay que tener cuidado, que son nuevas, signing. Si yo digo singing o singing, eh, estaría diciendo algo así como que estoy cantando las planillas, ¿verdad? Y si es not true. A veces por eso la pronunciación es bien importante. Porque las palabras se parecen a otras palabras. Y si yo lo pronuncio de una manera o de otra, son palabras diferentes. So, signing is very important. Wednesday. Va con la de miércoles, con Wednesday. La letra que no se dice es la E de en medio. Es como que dijeran la palabra exactamente sin esa E. Wednesday. Se dice todo, incluso la N. Pero la E no se dice. Wednesday. Um, colleagues. Estuvo bastante bien. Analyzing. Okay. Good, good, good. Now, what are some activities Mary is doing this week? Uh, Sign payrolls. Signing payrolls, huh? Sending email. Sending emails. Very good. Um, are you doing some of the activities described above? Which ones? Mm, esto no lo vamos. Um, no, no. Neither, neither this. Okay, this is a little reading. Mm, no me va a alcanzar la cora, pero vamos a ver. Schedule events with the workplace. Reading. Bueno, son chiquitos, tal vez sí. Vamos a... <laughs> Vamos a tratar de leer. Everybody, please repeat. Organize yoga classes. Organize, Organize yoga, yoga, classes. yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees. If you work in an office and your employees. Are sitting at computers every day. Don't underestimate the impact. Don't underestimate the impact. Yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. 
Yoga can help alleviate stress. Yoga can help alleviate stress. Calm the mind. Calm the mind. Release tension. Release tension. Improve brain function and lift mood. What does what one does happen? What does Celebrate birthdays. Celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to rely on business games to boost morale. Simply acknowledging special occasions. Can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about. Them as people. Them them as as people. people. Not just as employees. Not Not just 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 employees. employees. Get everyone to sign a card. Have cake once a month. Or simply buy them a round of coffees. Or simply buy them Each time someone in your team has a birthday. It's time someone in your team has a birthday. Paintball. Paintball. Give your employees an opportunity. Give your employees an opportunity to let out some steam by organizing. A day of paintball. A day of paintball. day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders. For staff morale. For staff morale. Watch out. So, what as the bus, you're going to be a prime target. At the bus, you're going to be a prime target. Get prime target. Guess who? Guess, Guess who? who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo. Ask and everyone to buy a child photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and put them all up on the board and then get everyone to put their best guesses. And then and get, get everyone, everyone good air bed forward on each one. Forward, forward on each one. one. It's a bit of easy. It's it a bit of easy. easy. Lighthearted fun. Lighthearted fun. fun. That will definitely help lift spirits. While offering plenty of humor along the way. Bueno, ahí está bien claro todo, ¿verdad? 
So, veamos Uy. algo de vocabulario. La primera creo que es uh, bien claro que es cómo organizar clases de yoga. If you work in an office and your employees, ¿qué era employees? Empleados. Empleados are sitting at computers every day. Underestimate es igual, ¿verdad? Aquí en español. Eh, subestimar. Don't underestimate. Subestimar. No subestimes. A ver, el impacto que yo cool. ¿Saben qué es cool? No. Podría. Podría. Very good. Have on the attitude. What is attitude? Attitude es actitud. Ok. And outlook es como la, la forma en la que se Okay, luego dice yo, I can help alleviate stress. Of course, eso es aliviar el estrés. Calm the mind. ¿Qué era mind? ¿Se acuerdan qué era mind? Mente. Mente. La mente. mente. Calmar la Primar mente. la mente. Relajar la tensión. Improve. ¿Qué era improve? Eh. Brinda. Improve es mejorar. Sería como mejorar las funciones del cerebro. Brain es cerebro. Okay. Y luego dice lift mood. Lift mood sería como levantar el ánimo. Y la última pregunta está interesante. ¿Qué jefe no quisiera estos resultados? Outcome es resultado. Ahora, aquí lo que dice es que bien, si, si llevan clases de yoga al trabajo, pues uno se siente más motivado. Igualito que en El Salvador, ¿verdad? Que llegan a dar las clases de yoga y todo. ¿Y cuál? Just the same. <risa> bueno, el 12 lo hacemos mucho acá. Celebrate birthday, celebrar cumpleaños. You don't just have to rely. ¿Qué es rely? No. Eh. Rely es confiar. Okay. No se confía solo en juegos de negocio, dice. To boost moral. Boost es como cargar, para cargar la moral. Simple acknowledging. ¿Qué es acknowledging? Acknowledging. Ese es reconocer. Simplemente reconocer ocasiones especiales. Sería. Can have a big impact. It shows your team. ¿Qué era team? Equipo. Sí. Very good. Equipo. Equipo. That you care about them as people, not just as employees. Que le importa como gente, as people, como gente, no solo como empleados. Get everyone to sign. Recordemos que la pronunciación es sign. Sign, sign. a card. Firmar una tarjeta. Have cake once a month or simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has birthday. Creo que ahí no hay preguntas. Painball, que es eso, pues igual lo decimos en español. Get your employees an opportunity to let off some steam. Let off some steam viene siendo algo así como sacar algo de vapor. Algo de, del estrés significa, ¿verdad? By organizing, ese by es por, ¿se acuerdan que lo vimos? By. By organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders. Es como a divagar, ayuda a divagar el trabajo for staff morale para levantar el, la moral del staff watch out, ¿se acuerdan que era watch out? como cuidado good, aunque tenga cuidado ese. como el jefe vas a ser el objetivo principal, o sea que todos le van a querer dar al jefe the prime target, target es el objetivo good Tú, tú es aunque. Tú, tú es aunque. Guess who, ¿qué era guess who? Guess who. Es... Adivina quién. Adivina quién, very good. Luego dice, ask everyone, pídele a todos, ahí no es preguntar, es pedir. Ask everyone to bring, ¿qué era bring? Traer. Good, traer a childhood photo. ¿Qué es childhood? Eso le iba a preguntar. Ok. Sería no sé. de su infancia. Una foto de su infancia. Very good. Una foto de la infancia, de la niñez. Eh, of themselves, de ellos mismos. 
and put them all up on the board and then get everyone to put their best guesses. Guesses es como adivinar. O sea, como es como la idea de ponerlos ahí en una, en una, ahí dice en una pizarra y que adivinen. En mm, cada uno. What is them, them, themselves? Themselves, ellos mismos. Ellos mismos. Ok. Luego dice, the bird guesses forward on its own. And it's a bit of easy. Es un poco fácil. It's light, hard, and fun. Es algo que divierte el corazón, algo así tendría que ser. That will definitely help lift spirit, que definitivamente levantará el espíritu. Lift, que es igual que ya el otro que vimos en el otro lado. Lift. While offering plenty of humor along the way. Mientras se ofrece mucho humor en el camino. Along the way. Bueno, no vamos a poder leer porque ya se acabó la hora de pero hay mucho vocabulario acá. Vamos a tratar de leerlo la próxima vez porque sí creo que es una buena lectura. Y nos falta, creo, el ejercicio que está abajo de él. Pero pues, by now is enough. Vamos a pasar lista. Okay. Alma, Lisset, Molina de Alas. Present. Good. Ana Yesenia Beltrán de Oliburio. Present. Good. Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Benjamín Giovanni Hueso Cruz. Present. Good. Carlos Miguel Ángel Orellana Vargas. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Miguel Ángel. Ah, bueno, ya. Douglas Enrique Hernández Ponce. Present. Good. Eric Mauricio Renderos Tomasino. Present. Good. Stephanie okay. Joana Landa Verde López. Present. Francisco Javier Mariona Mengibar. Gabriel Antonio Martínez Portillo. Jairo Enrique Campos Méndez. José Ovidio Flores Rivas. Present teacher. Sí, sí. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Good. Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Herrera. Present teacher. Good. Rosa Calia Conrado Quijada. Present. Good. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Good. A usted le toca el 101 ahora. Sergio Chamorro Calero. Present teacher. Sabrina le toca el 101. Williams Mauricio Vindel Retana. Present teacher. Good. Jacqueline Joana Hernández Urquilla. Here teacher. Good. Zulma Yaritza Oliva Córdoba. Present. Good. And Ana Raquel Alfaro Muñoz. Present. Okay, my friends, antes de terminar, do you have any question? Okay, if there are no questions, see you tomorrow. Have a good night and rest very well. Uh, good night. Thank see you tomorrow. Night. Tomorrow. tomorrow, good, good night. night. You. Bye. Hello, Sabrina. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Fine. I'm fine. Nice, nice. Very good. Um, I'm happy. Really? Uh, the, the, the last week, um, in my work, come uh, American fashion. And, and I uh, talk in, in English. Okay, a little try. Nice, very good. So you are practicing. That is good. Congratulations. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> very good. I'm proud of you. And uh, well, the first question, you know, is uh, how do you feel that you are going? ¿Cómo siente que va? I feel good. Um, I feel that is one topic for class, really. And and uh, I. 
I feel that I have to concentrate. I have to focus in the class, but we are running. <laughs> but, but I like because I I I I need to practice. <laughs> Very good, that's perfect. Uh, do you have any questions? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta con algún tema, alguna duda que haya quedado? Just the, with the ordinal numbers y with the grammar, uh, I, I have to practice very hard because uh, with the detect, detection, I lose really? <laughs> with, with without age. 13, the pronunciation, the grammar, everything I need to practice, teacher. That. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, that is the good thing about that topic is the only thing that you need to do is to practice, to listen the pronunciation and to write. That is it. If you write the number with the letters and the name of the number, and you can, you can listen. I guess there are some videos in YouTube where you can listen the pronunciation. You can practice that way. Um, but yeah, it's not a difficult topic, but of course you need to practice that. That is very important in that topic. Okay. And I, I think just, just that. Everything else is, is perfect. And with present continue for the future is new for me. L L I N G for future. I, I have only heard I will be, I'm gonna, and, and, and uh, present continue for the future. See, uh, it is the first class with present continuous. I was, wow, I have never seen you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very happy that you are learning, of course. Yes, yes. And I remember much, much things. But okay. I like your class. I like your class oh, because man. I ask it always. <laughs> oh, but that's good. I'm, I'm happy that you ask. I mean, if you ask, I, I will always answer your questions, definitely. But but I am that way in Spanish and English. So I'm always talking. <laughs> that's good. I like that. I like the way that, that you speak, the way that you evolve. That is very good. <laughs> okay. So if you don't have any other questions, we're gonna finish. Yeah, yes, I think just that, teacher. Okay, very good. It was a pleasure talking to you. Remember that if you have questions, you can chat on the group or you can chat with me directly. And of course, it will be a pleasure to help you. Okay, can I uh, add for my contact your number? Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. Of course. Yeah, I, if you I want to practice, ask. you can, you can, you can talk with me at any time about anything in English and we can practice. Okay, thank you, teacher, thank you. It's a pleasure, <laughs> have a good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Okay.